Hello, we are at the Invisible Line Gallery in Dalston in East London uh, for the launch of the Martyrdor.org. And with me this evening is Mina Salami. Um, she's a blogger and she's responsible for MissAfropolitan.com. Mina, thank you for joining us. Thank you. What is Miss Afropolitan about and who is it for? Well, um, Miss Afropolitan is, it's, I guess first and foremost, it's for me. Um, and it's about my search for understanding the different elements of my identity. And of course, it resonates. There are parts of my identity that resonate with other women who are like me. So women of African heritage, women who are incorporating um, their Africanness into their lives in what we call the diaspora. So um, a term that I use a lot is the term Afropolitan, which is a mix of Africa and cosmopolitanism. Um, so it's very much about me exploring the different facets of my identity, of my, of my racial background, of my gender, and, um, and it's for people who that resonates with. What do you tend to write about usually? I write, um, you know, it's such a mix, but predominantly it's about, uh, I write about race, um, I write about African affairs, I write about um, philosophical and psychological issues um, that I'm grappling with. And so, you know, I think other people also might be, might be pursuing and exploring these kinds of ideas. I write also about pop culture very much, so um, especially African pop culture and fashion, etc. You've written, you've recently written a blog uh, called Seven Ways of Loving Yourself. Tell us about it, it sounds fascinating. Um, okay, right, well it's not so recently, I actually wrote it in um, 2011 on the 1st of January, um, so it was a kind of New Year's resolutions post, um, but it's seven seven um, concepts um, that I'm looking at in my life. And what are they? Oh, wow. Well, I mean, actually, these seven are part of a long list that I, at some point in my life I put together um, of things that are not resolutions for a particular year or a particular month, but are ongoing things that I want to learn and really innately understand. Um, so the seven that I spoke about earlier tonight were... Um, to learn how to take care of your finances, to learn how to trust your intuition, to learn how to look after your health, um, to learn how to be kind. Um, I think that's something that we undervalue in society. Um, to learn about our sexuality as human beings because a lot of our um, identity is, is part of how we see ourselves as sexual beings. Um, to learn how to feel attractive and to learn that it's okay to feel unattractive um, and but to learn that that is often a sign of um, something that we're neglecting in our in our mental and psychological well-being um, but to not be hard on ourselves um, and so these are the things you know these are some of the things that I, I try to remind myself of um, as often as possible to do. Wow, that sounds fascinating. Thank you so much. And we definitely keep abreast of what you're up to. And uh, this is Himada Rabai signing off for Headmix Channel on Vision on TV. Thank you.